What is happening people and welcome to today's video where I want to share with you guys my top five most used pull-up variations. If you like me and you like the channel, then you'll know that I really, really like pull-ups. So much in fact that I actually do some variation of pull-ups virtually every single time that I step into the gym and if I do any sort of active recovery on my days off, then pull-ups are almost always part of that as well. I definitely consider pull-ups one of the most important exercises that you can possibly do, and there are tons and tons of different variations, and I think you should try a lot of them to see what fits you best and your goals best and all of that, but for today, I'm gonna to share with you guys my top variations that I use the most. Okay, so variation number one is gonna be your standard pull-up, or what a lot of you are probably gonna consider a wide grip pull-up, because I like keep my hands a little bit wider on the pull-up than most, but this I use all of the time. Like I just mentioned, it might show up on my recovery days off. It's always part of my warm-up, sometimes part of my conditioning, sometimes the strength, sometimes assistance. It shows up everywhere in my workout. It's super versatile and I do these virtually every single time that I walk into the gym. The second variation I want to talk to you guys about is the semi-supinated or neutral grip weighted pull-up. Now, I believe that weighted pull-ups are one of the number one way to improve your overall pull-up number, and I absolutely love them. I think they're terrific for strength, for building a base for the overhead press, for the bench, all types of things. I could not recommend weighted pull-ups more than I already do. Many of you know that this has been one of my biggest staples since I first started lifting, and the best that I've ever gotten is 205 pounds hanging around my waist for a set of two. Now, there are two main reasons why I prefer using the semi-supinated or neutral grip for the way to pull up, and the first of which is that I get less shoulder pain when using the semi-supinated grip versus cranking and externally rotating my elbows out when I am under load. So if there's less pain there, then I'm gonna do the variation that has less pain. I'm 42 years old, sue me. And the second reason why I prefer that grip is because I can do more weight. So there are gonna be tons of other reps and variations throughout the entire week that focus on the mind-muscle connection and my form and doing everything perfect and stuff like that. This is the one time that I'm gonna be doing weighted pull-ups for the week, so I'm gonna go as heavy as I possibly can. Doesn't get more simple than that. And the third type of pull-up that you were very likely to see me do is something that I like to call the pause pull-up. Now these can be done weighted or they can just done with your body weight, but the basic idea here is that when you pull up to the top, you hold for a one count, and then when you drop into the bottom, you hold for a two count. This totally gets rid of any stretch reflex, kipping, cheating, any of that junk, and you can be absolutely sure that you're pulling 100% of your body weight every single time. So this is something that I often use when I want to like test my pull-ups to see how many I can truly do without pulling any reps short or using any bounds or stretch reflex or anything like that. They are a great tool to add. I would highly, highly recommend them. And the fourth type of pull-up that you're very likely to see me do is something with a random grip implement. So a lot of times I will end up using the Elite FTS grenades, which is nothing more than like a two inch sphere that you have to hold onto. Or I might be doing some rope pull-ups or towel pull-ups or grenade pull-ups, or just grabbing something random around to challenge my grip in a different sort of way. If you guys know me, you'll know that I like to kill a lot of birds with one stone. So if I can work my grip at the same time and work my pull-ups, then I'm absolutely gonna do that. For some people, this might actually help some elbow pain because very much like ring pull-ups, it's going to allow your arms to rotate the way they're actually supposed to. So it's not sticking your joints in kind of funny positions that they don't wanna be when they are under load. So if you ever have aspirations of being on Ninja Warrior or beating Juju Mifu in an arm wrestling contest, then something like this is gonna be very, very important for you. And the fifth and final pull-up variation that I'd like to talk to you guys about today isn't actually a pull-up at all. It is going to be a chin-up. If you guys did not know, when your hands are facing away from you, this is a pull-up if they're facing towards you. This is a chin-up. Now, I end up doing chin-ups for two different reasons. The first one of which is that all my pull-ups have been used up, right? Like I've been doing a lot, a lot of pull-ups and I'm not really doing them well anymore. I can still flip my hands around and I get more bicep activation. I can use more of my body, a little more swing, a little more cheat, and I can still be pulling myself up above the bar even though that all my pullers are gone. Second reason why you'll see me doing chin-ups instead of pull-ups is again, it is easier on my shoulders and my elbows. So sometimes when I go in the gym and I'm really, really beat up from whatever the heck I'm beat up from, uh, just turning my hands around, kind of keep my grip closer and keep my body Tighter really, really helps with a lot of the joint pain and stuff. Sometimes only until I get warmed up, then I can switch to pull-ups, and sometimes it stays chin-ups all day, but it is what it is. I'm still working around that pain and just whatever I need to to get the work done that I want to get done. So there you guys go. Those are my five most used pull-up variations. Now, if you guys cannot even do one pull-up or you are an advanced puller-upper, 
then I have an entire pull up help playlist. You can find that playlist in the description box down below. And trust me, no matter what level you're at, you are gonna find something in those videos that will help you out. Guys, I thank you so much. I thank you for the opportunity to teach you. I thank you for the patience. I thank you for the support. I thank you for this whole thing. And this is my job and this is my life. I just absolutely love it. And I can't thank you guys enough. It would not be possible without support of each and every single one of you. So seriously, when I say thank you, I mean it. I will catch you guys later in the week until I do go out to something amazing with lives. Keep working hard, people. Be nice to each other. Go do some pull-ups. I'm going to have a pull-up challenge coming up later. Later. Talk to you. Later. Bye.